Once people don't feel included, then they don't have a stake in the success of the country. There's often a lot of distrust and anxiety between the different stakeholders. Inclusivity, basically, you're talking about making sure that the growth that is coming to the economy is all-encompassing in the sense that uh, people are not left out. You need to find ways of having government engage with the private sector, for example, with civil society organisations, with faith-based groups, all of whom need to have a role in making sure that citizens in countries actually benefit the most from these investments. Either you are, you are investing in education and healthcare and so on, and, and jobs are created in other sectors, it's really what makes the growth sustainable in the longer term. Companies have a huge amount of information on forward-looking plans, on prices, production. This information is often not available to governments. So what they can do is bring their experience from those other countries, bring their own company forecasts, which then allows the governments to decide how it will invest in the education and community level institutions. You want to make sure that people actually benefit. Without those benefits, uh, they do not have a stake uh, in the success of that operation. And that, that can be very adverse for the country. Either antisocial behaviours uh, and, and, and crime and all of that. The lesson is that partnerships are really important. So everyone needs to be consulted, objectives need to be agreed and roles and responsibilities for the different parties uh, set forward so that you can develop an action plan. Mm -hmm.